Do you think Greg's just on TRT? Then you probably believe in Santa Claus, okay? <laughs> that I lie to everyone in all my videos. And so I'm here to say... Coach Greg, and in today's video, I'm responding to all the haters. Coach Greg, you're lying about HRT. And so I'm watching a video posted by Lifting Vault. It says, how strong is TRT Greg Doucette? And so I've said for three years, I'm only on 140 milligrams HRT a week. Nothing else. Video after video. Greg's a liar. Look at his chest. Look at the redness. He's for sure on peptides, growth hormone, SARMs, something else. There's no way he's only on HRT. The guy's a liar. Even another guy, Durian Ryder, saying Coach Greg's responsible for all these deaths. That's what Greg's using high dosage year round, all right? And Tren and Master Ron and all sorts of stuff, all right? If you think Greg's just on TRT, then you probably believe in Santa Claus, okay? <laughs> And so I'm here to say, I'm not a liar, and we're going to watch this video and see. Was I actually strong in the past? Am I strong now? How much did I lose? We've seen guys like Larry Wheels go on to HRT and maintain almost all their strength. But what about me? And so after watching this video, you're going to see just exactly how weak I really got. You're going to see, used to be a specimen, was actually strong, real strong, stronger than you think. But in comparison today, almost laughable. People making fun of me. You're so weak. And so let's look at the actual numbers. Stay tuned and find out. What? In his prime, six plates were absolute rep weight for Greg. Now he was able to get up to four plates. And so consider this. For the last three years, I don't squat, bench, nor deadlift. I don't train any of them. And I've sustained two cycling injuries, broke both elbows, tore the tricep off the bone, had them surgically reattached. All the while, getting older, 47 years of age, and went from abuse and PDs to just do an HRT. And so how strong am I now? Barely got 405 and I would say wasn't even hitting depth. In the past, 585 for reps, but that was not below parallel. And so my best actual squat in the past was a 600. And mind you, I could never train squats harder than last time as I was born with FAI syndrome. Femoral acetabular impingement, cam type, in case you're wondering. And so I was always in pain, agony, did the best I could with the squats, was never a great squatter. And so in comparison to about a 600 pound squat back in the day, I'm at maybe 400 now. And so I've lost 200 pounds. And so if I was still abusing PDs, GH, doing all kinds of stuff, do you really think I would have lost 200 pounds off of my squat? In his prime, Greg was able to bench well over 500 pounds. Even untrained, he was still able to get 325 pounds. And so lifting vault, he's given me more credit than I deserve. I barely got 325 with a pause. And in comparison, I was pausing 529 at 90 kilograms. That's literally the all-time master's world record for 40 plus. 90 kg class, I have the all-time world record in the bench. And so I was actually a great bencher. I benched two plates for 54, three plates for 32, and four plates for 50. And so in comparison, I've lost over 200 pounds on my bench press. And so when I go to bench, I feel extremely weak as I remember just how much I used to lift only a few short years ago. And I'm sure if I trained it regularly and hop back on cycles, I'm sure I could get well over 400 pounds. But but I simply don't do it. I'm on HRT. I do a full body workout three times a week. But for the majority of my days, I'm racing bikes. I'm a bike racer that lifts weights. And so what do you expect? To me, personally, I think I look great. For a guy who's 47, sub 9% body fat, eaten from my friggin' cookbook, I think I'm doing amazingly well. And of course... I'm on Geo2 Max and Ecti Builder, and it's given me a significant advantage. These supplements really do work. That coupled with creatine, beta alanine, pre workouts, Seco bars, you name it, I feel amazing. I'm 47 on HRT, used to blast steroids, but now health is well. I want the longest life possible, and so I'm not abusing PDs anymore. At his peak, Greg has been able to put up some crazy weights in the deadlift, but now he is able to still easily handle 500 pounds. And so my all-time best deadlift in the gym, 765, I currently can pull around 525 on my best day. And so that's over a 200-pound loss yet again. And 
and people are saying Greg brags about having the world record in the deadlift. I set the Guinness world record most weight deadlifted in a minute, which was also highlighted on Mr. Beast's channel. He gave me a shout out, said, check out this animal. Look at the weight he's lifting from Mr. Beast over 100 million followers. And so I certainly do think it was an impressive and legit lift. I did 50 reps with over 400 pounds in 50 seconds. And so if you want to beat it, go ahead and try. Have fun. I'm sure there's people out there that can do it. But my anaerobic lactic energy system, it's very powerful. And so why do you think I can win races on a bike? Because I'm a five foot six manlet? 190 plus pounds racing on a bike. I don't look like Lance Armstrong, but where I lack in a physique that looks like a cyclist, I make up for it with power. And so if I can keep up to the end of the race, look for me to be an animal in the sprint. Greg at this point has suffered from multiple injuries, if that matters to anyone, saying he isn't as strong as before. Weaker than last time. And so of course... I'm doing the best I can. Think of it. I'm old and injured. I'm doing mostly bike racing, training three days a week. Of course I'm weaker. Pete Rubish. Greg always had a killer bench. I wonder what he could do on conventional deads. Well, in the past, I pulled six plates on conventional, which is 585. And what can I do currently? Probably around 455 pounds. A little bit less than my sumo deadlift, but still well over 400. I simply choose not to do it as I don't want to strain my lower back. I want to keep my lower back healthy and fresh for bike racing. Props to him. He's approaching 50 and still has a body that most dudes would kill for. And so thank you very much. I'm working hard. I'm not natural. I'm on 140 milligrams a week for three years, but that's all I'm taking. I'm really not taking anything else. And trust me, if I did a cycle of Anivar, SARMs, GH, peptides, anything, I most certainly would make a video. That makes for great content. I would love to be able to take something, make a video about it. That is one of the things I used to do in videos all the time. But I'm not going to risk my health just to make a video. And so what worked in the past, me saying, hey, I'm taking this, I'm comparing this cycle to this cycle, and this is what it feels, I can't do it anymore. I would love to be able to do that. It would give me content, give me tons of views, but I simply can't do it. And so I promise you, if I were actually on a cycle taking anything, I would make a video and tell everyone. I was always suspicious of his TRT dosage until I saw how not strong he is. Now I believe him. You see, guys? I don't freaking cookbook you. Just because I'm a complete specimen, move over, Chris Bumstead. I clearly have the best physique in the world. Does not mean I'm abusing PDs. I'm only on HRT. And by the way, I'm just kidding about having the best physique in the world. I know it's above average. It's not up to the standards of Chris Bumstead. I'm 47 guys, girl circles, and I'm taking exactly what I'm saying. I don't like Greg's videos, but he is legit strong. And so thank you. And so you see, people can have an unbiased opinion. They don't like my videos, but they can recognize what I was actually able to lift. Was his bench press record raw or equipped? The 529 pause I did at 198 above the age of 40, the master's all-time world record? It's raw. And it's paused. And I, in fact, injured my shoulder 13 days out. Couldn't even put my jacket on. Literally showed up to meet, praying, will I be able to lift the weight? And I benched 529. I was planning on benching 550, but because of the injury, that's the best I could do. It was enough to set the world record by five pounds. I was hoping to get 550. That's all I could do. After that, the shoulder was fried, switched over to competitive cycling. And not cycling that cycling on a bike. It annoys me that he claims a Guinness deadlift endurance record as a deadlift world record. What? And so officially the record is called heaviest sumo deadlift in one minute. You don't want to call it a record. Don't count a record. Do I give a shit? No. I'm in the book. I was featured by Mr. Beast. If you want to say it doesn't count, be my guest. David Ward. I doubt he ever benched 500 pounds. Well, officially in competition with three judges of which you have to pause the weight on the chest and lift with a very strict form. Done it about a dozen times. And officially benched 529 twice. And I was the WPC World Overall Champion 2011. But yeah, it's fake. He didn't really do it. No one landed on the moon either. They made it up. Really. And in case you're wondering, I pressed the 500 pounds for four reps with a pause. Sorry. And I got to ask, the comment on that is Google is free, buddy. Next says, you'd be dead wrong because there's official meat results and video evidence that say otherwise. David Ward then says, thanks. I was unaware of that. Do you know what weight class he was in? Like, why don't you Google? Type Greg Doucette bench press, world record, see what shows up. 
Do people just have no clue how to do research? I don't have the best technical skills, but even I know how to type a guy's name in and write down a bench press and see what shows up. Coach Greg. If you believe Greg only uses HRT, you shouldn't be talking bodybuilding, LOL. And so even with this evidence, I guess it's impossible it's only HRT. Gotta be trend. I mean, after all, he's only lost 200 plus pounds on all of his lifts. I mean, if I was only on HRT, I'd probably only be able to bench, what, 225? You realize that's what I benched at 13? When I was 13 years old, I was benching two plates aside. 13! I weighed 127 pounds. I've been training since I was 10 at my first powerlifting meet at the age of 22. I set the national record for juniors and seniors on my first try. 341.7 pounds. 155 kg. I weighed 148. I was 22. That was my first try ever. Didn't know what I was doing. I thought a raw bench press meant no shirt, so I was training with my shirt off. I would strip off the shirt. I thought that's what a raw bench meant. No shirt, I took my t-shirt off. I didn't know there was a bench pressure you could use. I was benching raw, setting records, not knowing what the heck I was doing. And so yeah, it's all steroids. You know, I never had any muscles, never had any strength without steroids. I clearly started using them at 10. Coach Greg. He looks a lot bigger than he really is because he's short. I look exactly how I should look because I look the way I should. I'm 190 plus pounds and I'm a five foot six manlet. And so if I was six foot tall, I'd probably weigh 240. The taller you are, the more you weigh. How many guys seven feet tall weigh 190 pounds? If they're 190, they look like a string bee. The taller you are, the bigger you look. I'm short. I don't look big because I'm short. I look big because I'm big. Other guys at five foot six, like me, when I was younger and weighing 150 pounds, I look smaller. You get it? I added muscle. I don't understand how people don't understand these very simple and basic concepts. I was shocked how short the guy actually is when I saw him next to Will Tennyson. Will Tennyson is six foot plus. I'm five foot six and a quarter. So how is that shocking? I've said how tall I am, how much I weigh, my body fat percentage. I've been very open, transparent, and honest in all my videos. And so how is anything that I do ever a shock to anyone? With all that gear and the years of training, these numbers are pathetic. LMAO, I am 56 on light TRT and smoke this guy. So what? <laughs> so what? You want to race me on Zwift? How's your heart? How's your blood work? How's your diet? What body fat percentage are you? And so it's just comical. Like imagine somebody caring that much. Like what I really care about is how fast I can go on a bike and how healthy I am. And I go to the gym three days a week and I enjoy it. I get a good pump. I do some circuit style training. I go from one machine to the next. I don't squat, bench, or deadlift. So I meet these young YouTubers and they want to do a powerlifting competition me against them. I know I'm not trained. I know I'm not going to do that well. And I know they're most likely going to beat me. But I don't care. And I'm not scared. I don't care if my ego gets destroyed. A younger kid, 25 years old, makes Greg look weak. So what? I used to be a world champion powerlifter. Been there, done that, can't do it anymore. And so what? And so you're stronger than me now. Brag, brag, brag. Who cares? Like, I can't imagine making a video saying, oh, that guy used to be a professional bike racer, and now they don't race anymore, and I'm faster than them. Aha! Well, what if that person is now a bodybuilder? And they don't race bikes anymore. And so they're not as fast on the bike, but they enjoy something else. Like, who cares? Do you? Compare yourself to yourself. So what if you can lift more than me? If you want a more challenging comparison, try and set some of my records the ones I did when I was natural. In my 20s, for example. I don't get it, people. And so there you have it. Had some fun reading the comment section. And so you can see the various opinions in the comment section. Some respectful, some saying you suck. It's all over the place. The more comments, the better. Whether they're good or bad, people are talking more publicity than last time. And remember, code GREG, 10% off. Click the link in the description. Of course, I want you buying more supplements than last time. Make me richer than last time. I got a seven-car garage here at my new dream home. Give me so much money. Fill them up with sports cars. Yay! Subscribe and click the bell button. Comment for the algorithm. Like the video if you liked it. Watch one of those bloops. Don't forget to buy the Geo2 Max. Come on, buy the Geo2 Max. Cookbooks, training books, the circle, diet book, my life's work, how to lose weight, keep it off for the rest of your life. Phone consults, coaching plans by me and my team. Subscribe to my Instagram, Greg Doucette, IB Pro. And until next time, I am out.